Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the stabilization on the iPhone 14 Pro and comparing the standard stabilization mode with the new action mode. Let's start off with the standard sensor shift optical image stabilization. Here's some video shot at normal walking speed in 4K at 30 frames per second with action mode off. The iPhone is held to my chest and I'm walking as smoothly as I can. As you can hopefully see this footage looks really smooth. There's a bit of side to side movement but really not that noticeable at all. And now let's see the action mode. Excuse my little dog, he has a habit of putting himself in front of the camera whenever I'm shooting video. When shooting in the action mode, resolution is dropped from 4K to 2.8K, and that drop in resolution really shows here. The image overall definitely has a softer look, and there's more of a moire effect on the wooden planks on the ground. While the footage does look smoother, I'm not sure that the additional stabilisation is worth the reduction in image quality. Personally, I'd be more inclined to shoot with action mode turned off and do any additional stabilisation in post if required. Here are the two shots side by side, standard mode on the left and action mode on the right, so that you can make up your own mind which one you prefer. And now here we are running at medium speed. Again the footage shot using the standard stabilisation mode looks really good. There's some slight side to side movement again but otherwise very impressive results from Apple. And now here's the action mode while running. This is where we start to see a difference but as with the walking shot the difference is quite small. And I'm not sure it's worth the trade off in image quality. Again, here are both shots side by side, so that you can make up your own mind. And finally, for the sake of comparison, here's the same walkway shot on a Fujifilm X-T4 with a DJI Ronin SC gimbal.